What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Hope you're having yourselves an awesome day, and thank you, as always, for checking out this episode. It's a beautiful day in the Wizarding World, and we're going to meet our pal from the same house, Poppy Sweeting. What's Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Yeah, we got him out of High there. Wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But... At the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Secret safe with me. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? <laughs> this way at some point I want to show you guys uh, all the magical creatures we've caught and put into our vivariums it's pretty cool that they put uh, shiny versions of each of the creatures so I've been uh, trying to capture a shiny of each gender and breeding them a centaur tread carefully oh, we just glitched An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. We're definitely on your side, so not to worry. If you want to give us some backup, that'd be greatly appreciated. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? Yeah, we're students. I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. So we're students. Why would we get involved with poachers? It's not like we're Slytherin or anything. Oh! <gasps> That's the third time I've seen a Dugbog behave that violently. It seems Whoa, that a lot that's of beasts crazy. have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. It's like it's a uh, Red Dead Redemption too. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio. So there's a couple of things to investigate here. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Curious. Something drove them out. Like it looks like they left in a hurry. Pelt. Poor beasts. My goodness. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Yep, they definitely left in a hurry. Get 
some of that. What else we need to investigate this thing? Are we drinking? <laughs> it's no time to drink. There we go. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Well, we already know they've been in cahoots. So, it's no surprise. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Okay, I got your back. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Uh, Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. We definitely ain't going stealthy. Going I loud and proud. Good job, Poppy. I've never been one for gardening. It's two more. Merlin, you'd think they were guarding the Minister for Magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. It's crazy how a bunch of adults came and handled two fifth years. <laughs> We're just too OP. Should we cast Rebellio? Nah, it's telling us where to go, so. We'll just collect all these things here. Head on in. It's got an extendable charm, doesn't what it? What yep. in Merlin's name? Dragons? Are those dragons? Whoa, <laughs> they're dragon fighting. That's a horn tail. It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntail Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Can we capture any of them? Right, let's make sure we got our disillusionment charm. Here. We're almost there. And maybe we'll catch a dragon, who knows? Oh! I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not too discreet, were we? Entry with admission only. 
Have you ever your family? Has even your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done. Hey there. Did you not notice your buddy falling over like that? Sorry. I guess technically we don't have to slip around. Everyone seems pretty distracted. Revenue. But why not? Let's keep it, uh... It's nice to have a little change of pace every once in a while. Though we may have to fight soon. Yep. More creatures. Something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They're torturing it. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite a fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Yeah, yeah. We're coming, baby girl. Dragon egg. Hepodean from the looks of it. You can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Oh. Might as well eat an apple. <laughs> Aloha more. I wish there was a little bit of variation in these puzzles. They're way too easy. Are we gonna keep it warm? All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. I'm gonna use one of those focus potions. I've got careful. Rambo will want his turn. Bye-bye. 
Right. A little bit too easy there. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find out. Whoa. Get him, girl. <laughs> I didn't think they'd show that. We helped you. Leave us alone, please. Incendio. You're free. This way. What about the horn tail? That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins, and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. We got the room of requirement. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, yeah, but she does given the trouble it. we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. Bring it on, I say. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. We'll see you, Poppy. Yeah, I wonder if we could just toss it in one of our vivariums and let it grow. <laughs> um, okay. Let's uh, figure out what we want to do next. I think there's a quest from Sebastian. 
another scriptorium thing, so maybe we're gonna learn another unforgivable, unforgivable it's curse. It's time you learned the transformation spell. Oh. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Excellent. New spell. All right, let's operate as well. We're going to head over to Hogwarts. So we'll see you there. All right, we're back at Hogwarts. Uh, let's go find Sebastian in the Undercraft. Oh. I bet you it's uh, something to do with the Imperious Curse. Because Avada Kedavra has to be the last one. Now I'm curious to know how that... Because we had to... Ha. We had to cast a... Crucio on one of us in order to learn it. Or to get past that You'll doorway. You'll never believe what I've learned. So I'm wondering if we're going to have to kill. Or if Sebastian's going to have to kill. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I regret using it. I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I mean, it's not cool to let people out. I feel like we should tell him. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the Dark Arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. I don't like where that's going. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. Uh -huh. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Why is Sebastian's robes always uh, ruffled? <laughs> I am not letting this go. I agree. We gotta stop him. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. 
But if you think he might, please let me know. He's got tunnel vision. It would mean a lot. All right, let's get out of here. Someone's bound to contact us uh, for another quest. Okay, I thought we were going to interact with them, but I guess not. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do then. We only have Professor Weasley's assignment. Click the field guide page in the underground harbor. Click the field guide page from the book on the intermediate transfiguration in the library. Okay, so we're going to the library and outside on the harbor. I think we're actually close to the library, no? Oh, it's in a different building. Whoa! <laughs> we just went through. This is the library here. Okay. And it's up there. It's after hours, so no one's here except for ghosts. Oh, those two are actually getting along now. I think they're usually arguing. Unless they're another set of ghosts that, uh, are a couple. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Yes. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh. They don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. All right, let's get it. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Of course Let a Ravenclaw begin. would make us do this. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? What? Before invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm gonna say the Snidget. The Golden Snidget. Correct! Yeah! The Snidget <laughs> was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. I totally Which guessed that. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifact? Or two for two. Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle? Ugh. I think it's the Quaffle, right? The Quaffle. That's right. Yeah. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, four the team is ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. False. False. Correct. While polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. I only know that because well, of a. Uh, I suppose this has gone on long the enough. Chamber of Secrets. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. Five and for I five. won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. 
I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Guess we're a true Harry Potter fan. Testing our knowledge. All right, give me the book. Did we get it? I think we got it. Okay. Now let's get to the harbor. The only one I really wasn't sure of was the uh, first question. I completely guessed on that one. Like, I don't even know what a snudgery looks like. <laughs> I don't even think I even heard the term snudgery. Now we're going to the harbor. We can head outside here and then hop on a broom. Come on. Open up. Okay. We're going My to mother harbor. would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I am hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Uh oh. Can we meet at the three broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Mama's not pleased, it seems. What? We can't go here? Do we need a boat? Or is there another way to get into there? Huh. Let's uh maybe let's land and see where um the waypoint takes us. I thought we could get there a little bit quicker by taking a broom. Alright. Guess we're going the long way. At least we get to see a nice little tour of Hogwarts in the winter. It's telling us to go down, but how do we go down? Oh, here. <laughs> There's elevators in Hogwarts? Interesting. There's one area we've never been to. So this is the underground harbor. I think this is where they take the first years. The Grey Lady. <laughs> I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Uh, that's the only other ghost I've recognized so far. Peeves and the Grey Lady. I guess the Bloody Baron. I wonder if the Bloody Baron's here. Rebellion. There it is. Located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard is the landing for boats delivering a first-year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. Professor yep. Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. All right, we'll uh, we'll fast travel there in a second. Oh, we're gonna sneak up on this this chest here. It took me a while to figure out how to get these chests. I realized I had an eye. So the disillusionment spell is the way to go. Okay, we're going to Transfiguration Tower, or Transfiguration Class, which is the Grand Staircase. No, it's close to the Transfiguration Courtyard, which is. Huh. South wing? Well, let's just go to the Great, Har Great Hall. And then we'll see where we can go from there. Off on another adventure, are we? I think it's nighttime right now, so we may have to change. The day cycle, day night cycle. There's a day daily in key. We'll get it later. Cause I know there's one here. All right, 
Transfiguration Courtyard. I'm gonna take a broom. Down here. Class should be through here. Hello, Professor Weasley. Oh, I guess I gotta change time first. How does Garrett's subterranean concoction sound? Too obtuse? Should put on some robes. Just to make sure we're in uniform. How that works. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Sebastian looks confused. <laughs> all right, let's get it. I've actually been waiting to use this spell. Beautifully done. You're a good teacher, Mrs. Weasley. Got it. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Mm. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn mm -hmm. and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities? Was your visit to an ex-aura in Upper Hogsfield connected in any way to Professor Fig? I can't begin to imagine what that was about. I feel it's time we be honest with her. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Thank you. <laughs> 